this week, as we celebrate six decades of WIS TV being on air, we are going back a bit in time to one of our most popular shows, PM Magazine. The hosts join me now, so welcome to Betsy Breckenridge and Lou Green. And let me give the viewers your dates here. Betsy, you were with WIS from 1981 to 1989. Lou, you were here from 1977 to 1990. You guys co-hosting together PM Magazine, which was the number one show of all the PM Magazines around the nation. What made it that, that could, popular? Could I ask just a quick question here. Is it true? I'm really going to get two minutes here. <laughs> And you're eating I'm, it up with that. I'm just yeah. asking. Two minutes? <laughs> you're not used to that, are yeah, you? Maybe we're a just more yeah, it, we're it's the reason so... it was so popular. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Had nothing to do with WIS. You guys went oh, all no. over the place and we did. covered a little bit of everything. Yeah, I mean, it is true that it was it was the highest ranked PM magazine in the country. There were about 110 of them at one time. Actually, one rating period. Uh, another name you would know, Lisa Gibbons, sure. was doing PM Magazine in Beaumont, Texas, and they beat us in terms of ratings. And we look at some of the video here. Lou, you playing the uh, violin uh, wow. a couple some years ago. Said they I haven't saw seen that, yes. yes. And they don't think I played well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that girl. <laughs> Did you have a favorite story that you covered for WISB, it through PM Magazine or anything else? People always ask that, and every, so the, the one you're doing right then is the one that's your yeah. favorite, and mm -hmm. you, you, meet, you meet celebrities, you meet people mm -hmm. that are just, they have tree climbing dogs, you know, yeah. and, yeah. and <laughs> one is not necessarily more interesting than the other. And I you, love the travel. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and and she, we have talked about this many times. The travel programs, which took us from Canada to Mexico, uh, Hawaii to Europe, uh, wonderful, mm -hmm. but the travel programs were more work than anything sure. because you had oh, to yeah. work remotely. Sure. You know? Still, it was pretty neat. Viewers want to know what you guys are doing now because they remember you and remember you very fondly, but they all say, well, what are, where are they up to? So update our viewers. Oh, well, I'm making movies now in Los <laughs> Angeles. Uh, I work part-time doing marketing for uh, Junior Achievement, mm -hmm. which is, if you're, you've heard of it, even if you don't know what they do, it's providing financial literacy programs to uh, school children in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, Always needing money, always needing volunteers. Shameless plug. Yeah, go for it. And Lou? Uh, I work for the Association of Electric Cooperatives, which is uh, a group of electric utilities that serve in sur the suburbs and the rural areas of the state, uh, and have been there since I left WIS, and it has been a royal pleasure. It's just yeah. really fun. Yeah. I thought you were going to say royal something else. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, we're so glad to have both of you back with us, especially with the success of, of PM Magazine, and we want to know your memories of Lou Green and Betsy Breckenridge. Send me your tweets at DawnDWISTV, and we'll share them later in the show. First, we need to get an update on your forecast so you know what john farley's our the, guy why don't you pitch to him up? yeah pitch to him you want to ladies and gentlemen john <laughs> farley, farley. <laughs> remember Lou. We, we should keep this guy around huh? yeah.